so I can so I can feed a tube through. Mm. Okay, now it's too powerful. Broke this thing. Anyway, looks good. So now I can close this and also push this all the way down. But um, when the water is filled, I need to cut a hole here. Okay, cut a hole here so the water can flow out into the aquarium tank and, and filter this thing. So I'm gonna try to get my Caesar and cut a hole there. Okay, now 10, the time is now 10 o'clock, so we're gonna try to see if this works. Okay, so now the water is coming in and uh, it's started to flow out. You can see here, there we go, there we go. It's uh, backing out to there, but it's okay. For the, most, for the most part, it's coming out of here. Okay, so hopefully uh, this is going to filter out most of the stuff. Uh, um, time, I started at 10 o'clock. Let's see, uh, maybe by 12 o'clock. Let's see if this is going to do. This is going to purify this uh, water here. Because the water here is very dirty right now. Um, but the fish don't seem to mind. The crawfish or the minnows, they don't seem to mind. They're pretty hardy. I uh, caught my trap, my last uh, minnow on April 7th, and today is April 15th, and they don't seem to mind uh, anything at all. It's been eight weeks with no um, filter, with no um, uh, air bubble uh, machine. Uh, they're still, you know, living in there happily, never complain. So I'm pretty impressive about how. Uh, how uh, hardy these fish are, um, you know, but uh, they seem to be working. They're trapping uh, the dirty stuff, um, you know, so there's a sump pump here. That's basically what I use for my boat. Um, you know, so the sump pump is actually uh, buried down there. Um, and then uh, through this, uh, uh, 12 volt battery is uh, picking up the water uh, from this pipe here and then uh, loop around and then come back to this tank which I put a lot of uh, filter in there uh, which is just the bubble foams from that I got from um, the stuff that I purchased over online and uh, looks pretty uh, good and uh, hopefully after a few hours uh, this water is going to look Dirty, you can't see the fish. You can't see the fish. Well, unless you go get very close. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it like this for you know two hours, three hours. Hopefully, this will uh, clean up the color, make it uh, a little bit cleaner. Um, these fish are very hardy. Minnows and the crawfish, they're very hardy. And let me show you uh, this uh, system. Looks uh, pretty good. I basically just cut an opening here, and this is a, um, this is a, uh, just a box of, uh, what do you call that, uh, Kirkland Unnatural Mixed Nuts box. Okay, there's nothing magic to it, uh, you know, we just, uh, cut the foam, and, uh, you know, uh, and uh, hopefully uh, this is going to do uh, what it's supposed to be doing after a few hours. So I'm going to let it run now. Right here, where my finger is pointing. You can probably see it. Uh, the water is very dirty. You can see the fish tail there. The fish over there. See that? That's the fish. That's the fish there. That's a fish. It's very, the water is very dirty right now, so that's why I'm trying to... There's a fish there. To, uh, use this, uh, um, go 
boat's pump, which I have um, to pump my boat. You know, with the 12 volts power to power it. Um, it's a very simple um, thing. Trapping in there. Hopefully, it's going to do its job. So that's the field pump there. Uh, ruler 500 or something like that. Granted, yeah. it's not fully sealed, so you can see the water slipping out from the hole. Sigamas Tech SP1235, um, 35M horsepower, 35M hour. It's a very maintenance free seal lead acid battery. You know, it, it, there's no maintenance. It's very good. work. 